All right, today I'm gonna be in the Andrology Lab because I am going to perform a little experiment to test this sperm check at home sperm test for men. This one specifically says it's for vasectomies. What I'm really looking for is, is this a viable option to confirm that your vasectomy was successful and you are in fact shooting blanks. So if you didn't know, when you get a vasectomy, you're supposed to go back to the lab, have a semen analysis done so they can confirm that there's no sperm in there. And it's crazy how many guys do not come back to double check. So let's jump in and see how sperm check does. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got in here. Here are the kits. Collection <laughs> solo cup. <laughs> All right, this is how it works. I understand it now. You got your sample in here, you collect it, you got your cute little syringe, you use this guy and you pull up and inject it in there. And it's got a little bit of solution in there. Add five drops into this bottom oval well. This has to wait seven minutes and you'll get your result. Two lines on CNT would mean um, a high concentration. They're, they're saying high is 250,000 per milliliter and above will give you two lines. Anything below that would give you one line. Okay, now here is my study design. One test will act like a positive control with a high concentration of sperm in it. One of them will be a negative control with no sperm. And then the third one will be kind of the challenge one. It will be a, a low concentration, but it will have sperm in it. This tube, is our high, this is gonna be our high concentration sample versus this one that has no sperm. This is our low concentration. Now we'll add five drops and seven more minutes. It's working immediately. That, see how it's getting drawn up there? While we wait, let's talk about how this test works. According to their website, what this test is measuring is a specific protein that you can find in sperm heads. It doesn't say what it is, it just says there's a protein that's present in sperm that this detects. And just two minutes in, we're starting to see lines show up. Seven minutes are up. Two solid lines. Now let's do the negative control. I'm just simply gonna not add any sperm to this and just drop their own media. Five drops in there, no sperm. Now I will do my low concentration sample. This guy has about 100,000 sperm per milliliter. One, two. All right, let's take a look at the results here. Our high concentration came back with two lines as anticipated because it's over 250,000 sperm per milliliter. The no sperm has one line because, well, that's less than 250,000 per milliliter. Our low sample also has one line, and that's the big problem. This test is unable to tell you if you have zero sperm or 100,000 sperm per milliliter. All right, pros of this test. Um, it's convenient because you can go buy it off the shelf. Uh, you don't have to necessarily order it online. You don't have to go to the doctor's office. And it will tell you if you have sperm. If those two lines are present, then you know you at least have 250,000 sperm present per milliliter. However, the significant downfall, the big con to this test, is it doesn't tell you anything about that sperm. It doesn't tell you whether the sperm is alive and modal or completely dead. It doesn't tell you if the sperm look good or if they have some serious morphological abnormalities. Now, the biggest pitfall, the biggest con to this vasectomy test is that it can't tell the difference between whether you have zero sperm or 249,000 sperm per milliliter. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm making this video as a way of saying, oh, don't do these at-home sperm tests. You should come into a clinic. Like, you should come to my clinic and, and pay me money to do the semen analysis. That's not what I'm saying. I think there are good options for at-home sperm testing. And, and it makes sense because going to the doctor's office is, is kind of awkward. But like I said, there's a few test options out there. One in particular I really like. Um, it's from a company called Legacy. I'll put a link to their product down in the description below.